Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am making braised short ribs, kaibichim, in the Instant Pot. So if you guys want to know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. Here are the list of ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe. And you guys are going to want to follow along with me on this one because I'm going to have to do some explanation while we're making this. First of all, I'm going to apologize about the lighting. I did end up making this at like 10 o'clock at night because I was in the mood for this. I don't know, but it was eaten for lunch the next day. But what we're going to do is start off with three pounds of short rib. Mine was a little bit over three pounds. I ignore the date because again, I made this a few weeks ago. I just haven't had the chance to get to making these videos. But the first thing we're going to do is grab your scissors and let's trim up all the fat that we don't want in our braised short ribs. Scissors are just easier at this point, so just grab your scissors and cut off again anything that you don't want. And we're just going to dispose of any fat that we have that we are trimming off. And then we're just going to cut these up into chunks. We're going to cut off about one to two inches off of any part of the short rib that's on the thinner side. And anywhere it's a little bit thicker, go ahead and cut off about an inch per each chunk. Now this is just to give you guys an idea of what it is that I'm doing, but now remove the short ribs and I put them inside of the Instant Pot, the inner pot that's inside of your Instant Pot. And I'm going to start cutting my chunks right into that. I'm using that because, you know, less dishes, but what we're going to be doing is soaking our short ribs for about 30 to 45 minutes just to go ahead and remove some of that blood. When we remove the blood, what it does is just help get some of the blood flavors or smell out from when you're cooking so you have a cleaner taste when you make your marinade. Soaking it also helps the fat float up so we get rid of all the yucky stuff that we don't want to eat while we're letting this sit here and soak for a while. And after your 45 minutes are up, you see all the nastiness that's come up. What we're going to do is just drain all of that and you can rinse it once or twice throughout the time that you were soaking it with clean fresh water but I didn't I just let it all sit there for about 45 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and drain all the water and then I'm gonna go ahead and refill my instant pot enough to cover all the meat on top this is me showing you guys what it looks like when all the blood is drained now depending on the size of your pressure cooker you're gonna have to cover it enough to cover all the meat on top and that's about what it should look like now go ahead and dry off the outside of your Instant Pot, put it inside of your Instant Pot cooker. And then we're going to go ahead and saute this with the top off and we're going to let it cook for about 15 minutes or so. We're just going to parboil this so that it's a little bit cooked and then we're going to end up draining everything. But while we are doing this and letting it sit there and do its thing, let's go ahead and get your vegetables. I'm using two medium sized carrots. Go ahead and peel them, cut off the ends and then cut them into large chunks. Go ahead and grab a bowl and put everything inside of that because we're going to use this much later. My radish is about two inches thick. I'm going to go ahead and cut these up into chunks. If you want to make them into nice little pretty shapes, you can do so. If, this, if it is a special occasion, go ahead and do that. But this was just a meal for us on a weekday because I wanted to have some. So as you can see, mine's nothing special. Just cut into chunks. That's all there is to it. I'm going to grab my half of a medium onion and I'm going to cut this right in half and then I'm going to cut these into like fours. Just cut them into chunks. That's all there is to that. Once you're done chopping these up, throw it right into the bowl and set it all aside. I grab my one inch of ginger and just cut that right into half as well. Now going back to check on my meat, this is what it looks like right after the 15 minutes or so and all we're going to do is drain this in cold water and rinse everything off. Now grab yourself a colander and throw all of your meat in there and let it drain with the cold water so it's not going to be so hot to touch when we start cleaning these off. Now I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part for you guys because you don't need to see the whole process of it but I did want to show you that I am rinsing out the inside of my pot at this point. You don't need to wash it with soap but just go ahead and rub your hand around there and make sure you get whatever you can off of the Instant Pot. Queen the Kaibi Chem. My youngest wanted to help take part in this video, so that was adorable of her. But anyways, here we go. So now you clean the kaiji gym, and all you're going to do is just hold each meat up, and you're going to feel it. And if there's any fat or any debris left on there, go ahead and remove it with your hands. So you have just a clean beef flavor or clean beef chunks when you cook it. 
after done cleaning everything, all we're going to do is just go ahead and remove these and put them right back into our Instant Pot. And this is all the stuff that you're left with. And now that everything is inside of our Instant Pot, let's go ahead and start making our sauce. I am using my half a cup of soy sauce that is gluten free. You guys are feel, feel free to use whatever soy sauce that is you have on hand that's best for you. Now I'm using six tablespoons of Splenda. You guys use your sugars or whatever sugar substitute it is that you prefer to use in your dish. Next I will be using four tablespoons of soju, the rice wine. If you guys do not have this, use water in place of it. I'm making it this way because I want to make a gluten-free and diabetic-friendly Instant Pot Kaibi Gym dish. Now add about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper right on top. I'm adding my already minced garlic right into the pot as well as my chopped onions and my ginger. Now once everything is inside of your pot, make sure you give everything a good mix. Breaking up any onion chunks that are stuck together. Pull them out if you have to for a second and break them up if you need to. And then put your lid on and let's get this thing cooking. Make sure your pressure cook is on high pressure and we're going to reduce the time down to 40 minutes and that's it. After your 40 minutes are up, we're going to let it do a natural release, meaning we are not going to touch any vents in the in the back, and we're just going to let it do its thing on its own. Once it gets to about 10-15 minutes, go ahead and press that vents forward to let it quick release any pressure that's remaining left inside of the pot. Now that we've safely opened up our pot, this is what it looks like on the inside. Let me give you guys a better view here. Carefully go ahead and mix everything up inside of your pot and then we're going to just, oh look at this steam. Hold on, let me put the camera down. Okay, now grab yourself a pair of tongs and look at this. That's how tender that is. So go ahead and just plate these into whatever container or serving platter that you are going to serve this on. Like I said, I made this, it's probably like almost midnight at this point for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this inside of a dish where I'm going to cover it up and leave it for tomorrow. But go ahead and place everything inside of it. Once all the meat is removed out of your pot, go ahead and grab the vegetables that we had chopped up and throw them right inside. We're going to cook this on high pressure for 10 minutes and that'll be just enough to make everything nice and soft where it's not overly cooked or super mushy. You guys are going to have to excuse me at this point. I went ahead and quick released it after 10 minutes. Go ahead and open this up. Throw in a teaspoon of your sesame oil and then put it inside of your serving dish. Adding your green onions and your sesame seeds and your pepper right on top of that. Serve this with a bowl of rice and it is absolutely delicious. Do not forget to drizzle that sauce all over your rice. You're going to love this one. Thank you again for sticking around this far. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you again for watching. Watch me cook.